Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. Everything written about you is great. You are great. You are great. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. May the hapaha sonde kadelia ne prone mosuhondi atel. We thank you, Jesus. 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 Somebody share and invite someone to join us. Invite somebody to join us this morning. We thank you, Jesus. Ripa haso andi kataya broni broni masihendi kateli ani masihendi. Paha sendi kateli andali broni masuhandi kateli ani mrene antaya paha sendi. Yes, Lord, mahasin kataya broni masuhandi kataya broni masendi kateli andali pa. Ya paha sendi kataya broni masuhandi kateli ani. Apreni masuhandi kateli abrani makideli ni preni hasiendi kate. Lift up the name of the Lord, somebody. Magnify his name, exalt his holy name. May tie up. A prene mosuhandi a tie up rani me kedeli and breni anti a paya. A prene mosuhandi a teli and the kadeli broni mosuhondi a tie up. A prene mosuhondi a teli and the kataya pa has yen the kataya. We come to the Lord of the miraculous. We come to the King of kings and the Lord of gods. We come to the God of the impossibilities. He is able to do abundantly, exceedingly more than what we think or even desire. It is that God that we've come to this morning. It is that God that we got it to this morning. It is that God that we seek this morning. Somebody, why don't you release the hearts and share? We come to the God of impossibilities, oh God. He is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we seek or desire. Why don't you exhaust the name of the Lord with me this morning? Why don't you magnify his name with me this morning? Why don't you glorify his name with me this morning? Make him greater, make him bigger. Make him bigger, make him greater than your problems. Make him bigger than your problems. Exalt his name, magnify the holy name of the Lord. Yes, Lord, we magnify your name. Mahasiende katele. Kabrene mosuhane hasai ketai abrane mosuhane. Ah, pahasiende katele brane masihende adelia. Father, we exalt your name. My da hapa ya telia ne katai abo. Eme hasien katai abrane mosuhane ya tele mreni anta ya. Yes, Lord, we magnify your name. We glorify you, O Lord. Me ha tian katai abrane mosuhane. Yes, Lord. You are great. You are greater than our problems, O oh Lord. You are greater than cancer. You are greater than sickness, any sickness. You are greater than every sickness. You are greater than lupus, O oh God. You are greater than HIV. You are greater than cripple. You are greater than death and dumb. O oh Lord Jesus, we magnify your name. Glorify the name of the Lord with me this morning. Exalt his holy name. May the hapa hasien de ketai abroni. Aprende mosuande hasai ketai abroni mosuande ya. Apa asende ya tai abroni mosuande ya tai abroni. Aprende masihen de ketai abroni mo ketai abra. Aprende mosuande ya tai apa ya tele broni mosuande ya pa. Magnify the name of the Lord with me this morning. Exalt his holy name. May the apa ya tele. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes, Lord, we glorify your name, Mahasiende Katelia. Ray Pahasende. Caprene Mosuhande Yataya Brone Mosuhande Yay. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We glorify your name, Mahasiende Katelia. Yes. We give you all the praise, Lord. Holy, holy, holy is your name. Ah, ni mahasini ante lepra ni mosuhane. Exalt the name of the Lord with me this morning. Somebody. Magnify his name. Mahasuhane katelini. Keteliane mosuhane yataya brane mosuhane yatele. 
Yes, Lord, we glorify your name. Everything written about you is great. Yes, we magnify your name. At your name, demons tremble and they fall. At the mention of your name, they bow, O God. At the mention of your name, they depart, O Lord. At the mention of your name, they give way. At the mention of your name, they restore. At the mention of the name, they pay restitution. At the mention of your name, they bow to the name of Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for your name. Jesus, we thank you for giving us your name. We thank you for the authority of God to use your name. We thank you. We bless your name. We glorify your holy name, O Lord. We exalt you. We say unto you, be all praise and honor. Magnify the name of the Lord with me this morning. Exalt his holy name. Yes. 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 You are great. You are great, O Lord. Yes. I want you to release the hearts and share. And post it in the groups for me. Somebody post it in the groups for me. Somebody post it in the groups for me. Thank you very much. We thank you everybody for joining us this morning. Holy Ghost, we thank you. You walk upon the sea. Hey! 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 We thank you. You are great. Oh Lord, we bless your name. Mahasien de Kataya Brone Mosuhande Yakete. Katale Prone Mosuhande Yataya Brane Mosuhande. Kapa Hasien de Katelian de Leprone Mosuhande Kedele. Kabrane Mosuhande Yataya Brane Masihende. Exalt the name of the Lord with me this morning, somebody. Exalt the name of the Lord with me this morning. Mehataya Kadelini. Araba Yatelian Kataya Brone Mosuhande Yataya. Ebrene Mosuhani Ateliane Kataya Brane Mosuhani Atele. Abidazi, I like you to post the, this in the groups for me. Share this in the groups for me, Abidazi. I like you to post this and share this in the groups for me. Thank you very much, Abi. Thank you very much. I like you to post it and share it in the groups for me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We magnify your name, Mahasien de Kadele Brone Mosuhani. Somebody go ahead and release the hearts and share. Release the hearts and share. Hey! Kataya brand name of Suhoni, I tell you. Mighty God, we bless your name. Hataya Pahasende. Ketele Pahasende. Ke Pahasende Hasai Kataya brand name of Suhoni, I tell you. Katele brand name of Suhoni, I tell you. I pray name of Suhoni, I tell you. Brand name of Suhoni, I tell you. A pahasende ya taya brane mosuhonde ya taya. A brane mosuhoto ya brane masihende ya taya. A brane mosuhonde kateli ya nele pahasende ya. A brane mosuhoto ya brane makateli ya ne mosuhonde. Ah! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mehasi ya ne. Sande adiola. Sande adiola. I pray for you, my sister. I pray in the name of Jesus. I cancel every intent, every plan of the evil one concerning your life. I pray that today you have an encounter with the Most High God. Today will be a day of transformation. Will be a morning of transformation. That there shall be a transformation in your life. You will not go back the same. But there shall be a turnaround in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you Sunday. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare over your life. That the grace of God that makes people victorious, the grace of God that makes people exceptional, will come over your life this morning. Will come over you this morning. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Kadele prene mosuhani yataya. Nita Dixon, Nita Dixon, Nita Dixon. I pray for you this morning. Mahasiende kataliani. I pray that the hand of God will be your portion. The hand of God will be your portion. Every toil and every struggle you went through. Today we nailed that upon the cross of Calvary. And we declare...
that no more pain, that no more shame, that no more suffering, that no more disappointment over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, pa send the kataya brani mosuande. Francis Boachi. Francis Boachi, I pray for you, my brother. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the hand of the name of the Most High God, and by the hand that is able to do the impossible, I pray that the hand of the Most High God will go ahead for you, my brother, will go ahead and fight your battles and make every crooked path straight for you. I pray in the name of Jesus, I declare that elevation be your portion and elevation happen in your life in the realms of the spirit, that the Lord God elevates you above principalities, above powers, above thrones, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I bless your name, Mahasiende Kataya Brani. Kaprane Mosuande Yataya Brani Mokutalia. Kaprene Mosuate Yabrane Mosuataya Pa. Yaprene Prone Masien Ketele Naha. Kaprane Mosuande Kataya Brani. Kaprene Mosuande Yataya Brani. Kapaya talia masiane yataya, aprene mosuane katalia ne masiane, a pahasiane katele, me hataya pa, a pahasende yataya brane mosuane. Somebody lift your voice and thank the name of the Lord. Bless his name, worship his name, magnify his holy name, masiane kate, kapaha sende yataya pa, ya paha sende yatelia, a paha ne ketele mosuane atai ketaya. In the mighty name of Jesus, ah, uh, ah, uh, send the yataya, ah, uh, pa, send the yataya, Nita Foster, Nita Foster, I pray for you, Nita Foster, I pray, ah, pa, send the katele, everything that is missing in your life, anything that is missing in your life. Neither I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that the Lord God will bring to you, I pray. Uh, whatever you are searching for, whatever you are looking for, I pray in the name of Jesus. Uh, and by the hand of the Most High God, uh, that that thing locates you uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, may whatever you seek for, may whatever you desire, may that thing, O oh God, uh, locate you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Hey, lift your voice, somebody magnify the name of the Lord. Hey, Pahasende Atayapa, Ketaya Prande Mosuhande Atele, Kepa Sayande Hasande Atayapaya, Kapaya Toliande Prende Mosuhande. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We magnify your holy name today. Yes, Mahasende Katele Brande Mosuhande Ataya. Yeah, pa send the atelier and the Mosuhani atelier. We glorify your name. I like you to share and release the hearts right now. Share and release the hearts right now, Mahaswende Katelini. Holy Ghost, may I see and the atelier. Yeah, pa send the Katea. Mahasi and the Katalim Roni Mosuhani. Very soon I'm going to invite some of you to come on live and I'll pray for you, those guys. I'm going to invite some of you to come on live and I'm going to pray for them. Oh, we glorify your name. I thank you. Yes, Lord. You are great. You are great, Lord. We glorify your name, Mahasiendi. Kate. Everything written about you is great. Mahasiendi Katele ne prone masihendi ataya by her. Apa send the Hasien Ketaya Brani Mosuhondi Abrani Mosuhandi Atelini. Ya prende Mosuhondi Atelini Brani Mosuhendi. 
We bless your name, Holy Spirit. We glorify your name, Mahasiani. Yes, Lord, we glorify you. We magnify your name, Holy Spirit. I don't have a lot of We glorify your name, Yatale Prene Mosuhoni Yadele ni Masiketaye. E prene mosuni hasan ketaya brone mosuhani yataya brani mosihene. Apa hasiende katele brone mosuhoni yatele. We plead the blood of Jesus over this place. We plead the blood of Jesus over this platform. That there shall be access. That there shall be divine access. That there shall be divine access. That this morning your prayers shall not be earth bound. This morning the Lord God will do great and mighty things in your life. We enter by the blood of the Lamb. We enter into the holies of holies. We enter into the presence of God by the blood of the Lamb. And we declare any sin, anything that inhibits the people of God. We purge it by the blood of Jesus. We declare that by the blood of God. We are not, O oh God, ashamed. We are not, O oh God. We are not ashamed. We come, O oh God, in all power and in all might to receive from God this morning. May Haswendi Kadeli lift up your voice and plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus over you. Plead the blood of Jesus over this platform. Plead the blood of Jesus. If there is anything that will hinder you, if there is anything that will limit you from receiving from the Lord this morning, you want to say, Father, I lay it at the cross, O Lord. I lay it at your feet, O God. Today, reign be king, O Lord. Reign, King Jesus, reign, O Lord. We come in the fullness, O God, of your books, O God, written concerning us. In the mighty name of Jesus, Mahasiyende Kataya Brani Mosumati. Yes, Lord, Mahasiyende Yatele. Yes, Lord, Mahasiyende Yes, Lord, Mahasiyende Yatele. Release the hearts and share somebody. Release the hearts and share Mahasiyende Yatele. I worship you, Lord. I worship, I worship you, Lord. May the Hapaya telling him, Messuani Catelini. I worship you, O Lord. May Haswani Atelini. Your people worship you this morning. For your name is holy. Your name is holy, and holy is your name. Yes, Lord. Ketale mroni masuhendi ya dele ni masuhendi. Meha siende katele mroni masuhendi ya dele matita ya. Exalt the name of the Lord with me this morning. The name of the Lord is holy. Exalt his name, magnify his name, O Lord. For your name, Mahaswendi Katali, Brody Mosuhani. For your name is holy. Yes, Lord, we magnify your name. For your name. Holy, Master, and Nicotin, and Master. 
Somebody release the heart and share this morning. Mahasi and the Atelebroni Mosuhoni. May Tahapa send the Atelebroni Antayaba. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Mahasiende ya tale prone mosuhoni ya tale prene masende ketaya. Meita ha prone mosuhoni ya tale. Meita ha prone mosuhoni ya tale prone masende. Your name is holy. Lift up the name of the Lord. Mahasiende ya tale ni. Cover us by the light of your Your name is holy, holy Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For your name is holy. Yes, Lord, Mahasiendi ataha pahasiendiya. Ne mehandi apa ya dele broni mosuhani ya ne ya ne ya pahasiendi ya ta ya broni masiendi ya. Your name is holy. Your name is holy. For your name is holy. Holy is your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship your name. Let your power fall this morning. Let your power fall this morning. Let your grace fall this morning. May her sien de catele broni mos one. We ask for your rain this morning. We ask for your rain. <coughs> we ask for your rain this morning. We ask for your rain this morning. Catele broni mos hendi ataya broni mitai. For your name is holy. May to have pass the end of the year, Lord, it must be in the end of the year. For your name is holy. May has the end of the year, Lord, it must be in the end of the year, Lord, it must be in the end of the year. Go ahead, release the hearts and share. Go ahead, release the hearts and share. Go ahead, release the hearts and share. May has the end of the year, Lord, it must be in the end of the year, Lord. Mahasiende ya siende ketele broni mosuhoni ya taya broni mosini. For your name is holy. Ketele imnoni hasaini. Brene masiende ya taya broni mosuhoni ya deleni mreni ante ya bro. Pa 
Aprende mosuhani ya kete ya brani mosuhani ya te ya pa sende ya te ya brani brani mosuhani ya te ya brani mosuhani ya brani mosuhani ya te ya brani mosuhani ya dele brani brani ata ya kete le brani mosuhani. Let the weight of your glory. Father, we thank you. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Kamoja Ama, Kamoja Ama, can you come on? Kamoja Ama. Kamoja Ama, Father, I thank you. Kamoja Ama. For your name is holy. Oh, Dad. How are you? Fine. How are you, Dad? Let me just cancel this call. I'm sorry. No, the call was someone was calling, and then I'm just canceling the call. Oh, okay. Where are you? Namibia. Namibia. Okay. You're from Namibia. Yes, Dad. I want to pray with you. The Lord wants us to pray concerning your health. Sorry. I wanted to pray concerning your health. Amen. Yes. I want to pray concerning your health. Any any attack of the evil one concerning your health. Amen. We want to cancel it. Amen. I want to pray that the hand of the Lord will bring healing to your body. The hand of the Lord will bring healing to your body. We are in the days of the miraculous. That our God, the God that we serve, is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, more than what we think or even desire. Our God is a miracle-working God. He is ready to heal his people. From any shame, from any pain, and Amen. from every form of sickness that they battle with. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. Father, I thank you. Yes, I do understand. Okay. Sorry? I'm sorry? Hello? Yes, I'm here. Are you able to get up? Are you able to sit up? The network is problem. I cannot hear. You cannot hear me? Sorry? Are you able to hear me?
I can't hear you, Dad. Yeah, now I can hear you. Why are you laying down? Yes. Why are you laying down? Can you get up? Are you able to stand up? No way to put my phone. Okay. Okay. I thank God for your life. I thank God for your life. The Lord God has been very, very, very faithful with you. God Amen. has preserved your life as a, as a young child. As a young child, when the devil has sought to, to, to derail your destiny, when the devil has sought to to take your life, the Lord God still preserve you. I see a child that was raised by a people, a family that really, really loved God, a father that really, really loved God. But there came a time in your life that your parents had to make a decision, that they have to send you to, to live with someone. And the person you left with, you live with, the person did not really, really, really love you as a parent should love you. And you went through so much. You went through so much living with these people. But the Lord God that kept you and preserved you at that time, that Lord is saying, I should tell you that he still cares and watches over you. Whatever you thought you lost, because you, you, you were not able to live your full life with your parents, the Lord says, I should tell you that he is able to recover and restore you everything that you think you lost. Amen. It's what I'm saying makes sense. Yes, Dad, it's true. Yes. You had to live with some family members, uh, some, some people who were not your family, and they put you through so much. And it affected you. Yes. It affected yes. you. It yes. affected you. But the Lord is saying that he that watches over Israel, he still watches over you. Amen. Don't be ashamed of who you are or where you're coming from. Because greater is he that lives in you. Greater are the things that he has in store for you than whatever you thought you ever had. Amen. Today I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray a prayer of sanity Amen. for you. That your minds will be Amen. fixed up on God. That you will focus up on Jesus Christ more than anything that Amen. you ever go through. Because as long as you, you set your eyes on him, as long as you set your eyes on him, then whatever Amen. you need will come to pass in life. Amen. Can you lift up both hands? One hand. If you can't, don't have to leave the phone here. Just both hands. Father, I pray for your daughter in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray as you have shown me, O oh God, I give. And as, O oh God, you show me, I declare. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for sanity. I pray I cancel double-mindedness. I cancel double-mindedness as a result of rejection. I cancel the spirit of rejection like works in her life. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I declare that he has no power over her life, O oh Lord. I set her free from the pain of her past in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that from now on, her eyes, O oh God, her mind shall be focused, shall be fixed upon you the author and the finisher of our faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel every intention of the evil one against your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Where is your... You are not married. Where is your husband? Did he leave? 
I'm not married. You're not married. But you yes, have the I'm, man I'm in your life. Like I see. I'm sorry? Yes, I do have a man. But we are what? not in the same town. Okay, where is he? In other town. In another town. Okay. Why don't you marry him? Why don't you get married? Sometimes I'm so confused about him. Like he does not love me. But that sometimes you, you think, you think like he, he does not me. love you? Yes. He's had a child somewhere. Yeah, he's having four child with other lady. Yes, he has four child with another lady and and he has not broken up with her. So I encourage you not even to go into that relationship. Okay. Okay. You're going to become a second wife and you don't deserve that. Okay. Okay. What, yes, what, I do what, understand. What, what you are feeling about him, what you are feeling about him is true. Amen. What you are feeling about him is true. Oh, Ennis, you're messing up somebody's flow right now. Oh, Jesus. But I'm telling you the Amen. truth. I'm telling you the truth. Amen. He has not broken up with this person. You're going to become a second wife. And this man is not going to be happy with me. But don't. Do you hear me? Tell, mm. him, tell him it's over. The Lord will bring somebody in your life that will really, really cherish you and really, really love you for who you are. Amen. Okay. You don't want to be a second or a side, a side chick. You don't want to be the woman on the yes, other dad. side. Do you hear me? Yes, Dad. You deserve more than that. But he was telling me that he... Are you there? I Hello. didn't hear you. What did he tell you? I said even the... Even the mother said that only having four kids but does not have a wife and the wife separate. Even the uncle tell me the same story. And I don't know if it's true or not. Okay. It is true. Whatever you're feeling about him, there is something not right that you feel there's something not right. It is true. There is something that's not right. So you have to let him go, okay? Okay. I want to pray for you. Amen. I want to pray for you. And pray for any other woman on this platform who has become somebody else's side chick. Today we cancel that over you. Over anybody. Any woman on this platform, you deserve better. If you are watching me and you are that woman on the side, I tell you in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that grace over you. I separate that relationship. I give you the grace to walk away from that relationship. You deserve better than that. You deserve better than that. You deserve better than that. I pray for you, my sister. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for sanity in your mind. For Amen. sanity in your mind. That your mind will be focused. Amen. That any voices that you hear, any Amen. external voices that causes you to be confused, and to live in indecision, I pray in the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. I cancel its activity. Amen. I cancel its works. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 God bless you, my sister. Amen. Thank you, Father. God bless you. Holy Ghost, I thank you. Holy 
Holy Ghost, I thank you. Francis Boache, come. Francis Boache, come on. Francis Boache, come on. My God, they pray him also on the For Fall on me. Let the power of the Holy fall on me. Holy my brother, Baba, man of God, please have a lesson. Are you in Ghana? Yeah, please, yes. Okay. Which part of Ghana? Um, Asante is in Bekwai. Bekwai, Asante Bekwai. Yeah, please, yes. You thank God for your life. Amen. You thank God for your life. Amen. There's a lot that the Lord wants to do with your life, my brother. There's a lot that the Lord has in store for you. Amen. There's a lot that the Lord has in store for you. But I thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. But there is something that we fight in. There is a pattern, a pattern in the bloodline. There is a pattern in the bloodline that you mm. have to overcome. That you have to overcome. Um, I see you with a woman and a and one child, a girl. Um, I see you with a woman and a girl, um, a young girl. I don't know what this is. Do you have a child? A place now. Not yet. Yeah. Okay. okay. But I see a lady and a child. And a woman with you and a child. Mm. Holy Spirit, I thank you. So you don't have any woman in your life that has a baby? Uh, please, no. No. Okay. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. The name Sophia make any sense? Uh, Sophia. Yeah. Mm, uh, please, no, I don't have anyone like Sophia. It don't make any sense. I don't recall anybody. Mm, uh, please, no. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Holy Spirit, we worship you. Precious Jesus. I pray, Holy Spirit. There is something we have to pray against, and it's a part in, in the bloodline. It starts, it's in your right. father's. Are you there? Please, yes, I'm listening. You're listening. And it runs your father's, your father's bloodline. Your father's bloodline. The Lord says we should yeah. pray, pray with you. So that what your Amen. father went through, you do not go through the same. I see, uh, please, uh, I see your father. I see a man. And the Lord is showing me it's your father. But I see him with multiple women. I see him with multiple women. Yeah, uh, it's true. Okay. It's true. Okay, I see him with multiple women, and each woman had children. Yeah, it's true. 
I see one of the women with two children, one with four of them. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, 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 that, that's my, my mother. Okay. Your mother has four? Uh, yeah, and then two belongs to my father. Okay. Now, I don't know where the Lord is showing me this woman. But the Lord is telling me that we should pray for you so that you do not walk the path of your father. If there is any person yeah, woman in your life right now, if you are dating okay. somebody, if you work with any woman in your life, I will entreat you to be very, very, very careful. Please, yeah. To be very, very careful. I see an age. Mm. A very, very significant age in the life of the men in your family. And the number is 32. I see the number 32. At age 32, something happens to the men in the family. And the Lord is saying that we should pray for you. That at the age of 30, okay. you do not have to experience that thing. Okay. Father, I thank you. How old are you, my brother? Man. Please, 27. 27, okay. So you are like five Please, years from there. Okay, I pray, Father. Yeah, yeah. Five is the number of grace. I pray for grace for you, my brother. Amen. I pray for grace for you. Where is your father now? Please, he's at um, Accra. He's at Accra. How is your relationship? Please, yes. My relationship with him is very good. I do sometimes call him during the week or maybe two weeks. I do call him. Yeah, do call him. Uh, he also calls me. La yeah, last week he called me. Um, uh, and then, Papa, what you are saying is true. The pattern and then so on. That's the difficulty I'm facing right now. Like what he passed through, like women and so on. That, that, that's the situation of first I'm engulfed and then I'm praying for the grace to sustain and then be uh, free from it. Okay. When you talk to him, ask him what happened okay. when he was 32 years old. Okay. Ask him what happened that when you were at the age of 32, what happened? How old is he now? Um, last time he told me 65 or 67. 65 or 67, okay. Oh, yeah. 65 or 67, and you are what, 23, 27? Oh, yeah, um, he's he 50, 57, or, or I think so, 57, 57. So, 57. Five, yeah, seven minus, say. what, how old are you? 27. Okay. So when he had you two years later, probably when he had you two years later, something happened. Yeah. Around the age of three, well, probably a two years or something. What happened there? Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't know. Uh, um, they, 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 they broke up like my mom and then he, um, he broke up with my mom. You were about two years old at that time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I want to pray for you. And that is why the Lord wants us to pray. That what he went through, you don't have to go through. They are, women are Amen. a blessing. Women are a great blessing to any man. Okay, Amen. the right woman is a blessing to the right man. There are some women that will come in your life that will cause you to derail your destiny to be derailed. There are some women that may come in your life that will cause your destiny to be derailed. And that is why we want to pray for that the Lord will protect you. The protection of the Lord will be upon you. That you will flee. You will also flee away from the from the um, Timothy, Paul, Paul put it this way, the, the drive, the, the desires of youthfulness. Okay, that you will keep yourself pure, you shall preserve your life, 
walk in purity Amen. before the Lord. Amen. Okay. Amen. Is there anything you, you want to say? Um, I just wish for the grace and then the, the prophetic oil to work effectively in the ministry. That, that that's my prayer. Like God should add the gift of prophecy and the healing to my gift. Okay. You're already in ministry. Please, yes. Okay. You have your own church or you minister and uh, you are in a church? Uh, 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 Methodist. Methodist, okay. okay. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And then I do have ambition maybe next year to enter into the ministerial. That's Trinity. Okay. Uh, so. Trinity Bible College? Uh, uh, please, yes. Okay. It's a good place to be. Trinity is a very good place. I know about that place, that area. Um, we want to pray for you. I thank God for your heart. You have a good heart for God. You have a good heart for the Lord. You have a good heart for the Lord. And um, I pray that the Lord will preserve and guide you. Uh, Amen. But there are some of the things you have to pray against. Some of them you have to also... Also be watchful. Be watchful. Bless you. Be watchful. Bless you. Yes, be watchful. Okay. Um, um. The name I gave you, Sophia. We'll look out for the name Sophia. Be careful. A woman that will come in your life by the name Sophia. Bless I hear. She will come with her own baby. She will have her own baby and she will come into your life. Be careful. Bless I hear. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for Francis. Amen. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I declare, Lord, Amen. that as you have revealed, I have given out. I declare another this unction, another this power that is released. We pray Amen. for the grace over your, your servant. I pray for the Amen. grace over my servant, O oh Lord, your servant, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. That, oh God, Amen. as you have found your faith, as you desire to do your work, I pray for divine Amen. deliverance. I pray that you shall quicken him. Amen. In the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. I pray that Amen. you shall quicken him in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare an invitation, O oh God, the grace that you have upon this ministry, may it be supported. Amen. Amen. Ah! Holy Ghost, I release your power and your grace to My God, the friend of the Lord, the Hassan, the Lord, the Father, I pray in the name of the Lord, 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 the desert to stand in faith. The desert to stand in faith. transformed. I pray in the name of Jesus. May it be done. In the name of Jesus. Stop. Amen. Stop. Stop. I release. Amen. Right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' Amen. name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, brother. God bless you. God bless you, Papa. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Grace Ledo. Grace Ledo, you're watching from Egypt. Cairo, Egypt. Come on. Grace Ledo. Grace Ledo. Grace Ledo, come on, Mahasiendi. Go ahead, release the hearts. Release the hearts and share. 
Release the hot sign share. Go ahead, release the hot sign share. Grace Ledo, Mahaswendi, Kata, Lefroni, Mosuhandi. Grace, come on. Grace, come on live. Mahasiendi, Kata, Lefroni, Mosuhandi, Yata, Lefroni. Hello. Hello, I'm watching you from Cairo, Egypt. Grace, how are you today? Hello, Grace. Hey. Yeah, I am. I am paining. All my body is paining. So I need yes. you to pray for my health. Yes. The Lord showed me, and I what what I see in you, I see a lot of pain. It's like it's like they put in pains all over your body. Yeah. Like arrows all over your body. The Lord yeah, says, you are right. The Lord says we should pray for you. Yes. The Lord says we should pray, and at the end of this prayer, you will be set free from every pain. Yes, hallelujah. Do you believe that? Yeah, I believe. Okay. You from Liberia? No, I'm from South Sudan, and I'm a refugee here in Cairo, Egypt. You're from South Sudan. Yeah. Okay. And I am now here in Egypt. I'm a refugee. You are a refugee in Egypt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jesus wants to heal you. Yes. And this will be a testimony to many people. Hallelujah. It's going to be a great testimony. Yes, Jesus. I love Jesus. Yes. You love Jesus. You accepted him as your love, your Lord and Savior. Have you yeah. accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes, really, I accept him because he's the one to heal me. I went to the doctors and it's still paining me. So I really trust God. And I see you, you are preaching and you are talking so much, so much about Jesus. So I accept because he is the only healer for me. Amen. 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 You were talking about your kidney. I'm talking about all my body, my okay. kidneys, there is training, and my body is like, there is a needle shocking me. Yes. I'm paining. Sometimes you feel like they are putting needles all over you, or pain, like, yeah, yeah. stuff all over you, yes. The Lord was showing me regarding your kidneys. Also regarding yeah. your kidney. The Lord will give you a brand new kidney today. Oh, amen. Amen. Jesus will give you a brand new kidney today. Amen. Do you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. Do you believe that? Do you believe that Jesus will give you a brand new kidney today? Yes, I believe. You believe? Good. Yeah. Good. I want to stand on this belief that you have and we pray. Yes. Can you be on your feet? Okay. To you. Precious Jesus, Father. We worship you, Jesus, I perfect, Holy Spirit, we, we wait on you, Holy Spirit, my the Hapa we wait on Holy Spirit. We wait on you for fire. 
you went to the doctor it looks like your belly is getting bigger but you don't know where it's happening your keep belly keeps getting bigger yes 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 you are, you are right you are right yes, it keeps getting bigger yeah the lord will tell that also as a matter of fact I see an angel of the Lord standing next to you and he is touching you right now. I see an angel of the Lord standing next to you. He is touching you. He is removing the the fear and the pain. He is removing them one by one. You're going to mm-hmm. see and you're going to feel a sudden like rush of relief all over you. He is pulling the pains from your body. I see an angel of the Lord standing next to you and removing all those pains. Father, yes. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Your fire. Your fire. Holy Ghost, I thank you, Father. May I say, Father, I swear to you, let go of my soul. What happened? Great. Where did you go? Grace. I lost you. Grace come back on. Mahaswende katale broni mosohondi ya dele broni mosende. Repa hasende ya taya broni mosohondi ya dele broni ante ya basende. Repa hasende hasenke tale broni mosohondi ya dele broni ante. Aprene broni mosohondi ya taya broni broni mosohondi ya taya broni mosohondi ya taya broni. Prene mosuhondi ya dele prene mosuhondi ya taya brani mosuhondi ya taya brani. Tisha Winkler, Tisha Winkler, come on. Tisha Winkler, paha suende katele brani mosuhondi ya. Grace Ladi, Lado. Grace Lado, I like you to come back on. Mahasiendi kataya broni mosuhondi ya dele broni mosuhondi. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Tisha Winkler. Tisha Winkler, I like you to come back on. Mahasiendi ya taya broni mosuhondi. Yeah. Mahasiendi ya tele broni mosuhondi. My God, I thank you. Mahasuende katele broni mosuhondi atele. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you. Tisha Winkler, Tisha Winkler, Tisha Winkler, come back. Father, I thank you. Mahaswandi atalini. Mahaswandi ataya brone mosuhondi atale brone mosuhondi ya. Father, I thank you. Mahasiendi atalini. Sandra Owusu Sandra Owusu Quarton 
Sandra Awusu Mahasuende Yatalini. Sandra Awusu Mahasuende Yatalini. Brani Mosuhone. Sandra Awusu Mahasuende Yataya Brani Mosuhone. Father, I thank you. Mahasuende Yatalini Mosuhone Yatalini. Mahasuende Yataya Brani Mosuhone Yatalini. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good, good. Have we talked before? No, please. No, okay. I thank the Lord for your life. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus for you, Sandra. Amen. I pray that the hand of the Lord will preserve you. Amen. I pray that the Lord will take you through this season in your life. Amen. That there shall be a change in the things that you desire to change. Amen. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the Lord will preserve your life. Amen. And preserve your cause. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you. Um, I pray for you. There is something we have to deal with. There's something we have to pray also about. Um, any form of stagnation. Any form of stagnation in your life. I see you, but as if you are running on a treadmill. You are running. You are running, but you're not going anywhere. Okay. You are running. You are running. You are running, but you're not going anywhere. There's no change in, in distance. You are in the same place. You're running, putting in a lot of effort, but no change in direction. I want to pray that the Lord will give you the grace to make you run past horsemen. Amen. The grace that will make people run past horsemen. Amen. Hallelujah. That is an exceptional Amen. grace that you can Amen. overcome horsemen. You shall overcome horsemen. Amen. In the next 90 days, in the next Jeez. 90 days, you will have an encounter with another woman. And this woman is coming into your life with, with a business idea. Okay. With a business idea. She'll come to you proposing a business idea. Okay. That will be a turning point in your life and also in your finances. Amen. 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 I don't know where you are, but the Lord is about to open some extraordinary doors for you. Amen. Doors of favor. Amen. Doors of Amen. favor. Doors Amen. Of favor. Amen. I, thank God. I thank God for your life. Yes, I thank God for your life. What Amen. beautiful word. Yes. Um, I'm in um, UK. I work in MNH. I'm as in Spencer, but now I'm not working for um, for some, some reasons. I'm not working. I'm at, at home now. You're at home. Okay. Yeah. Um, don't give up. Know Amen. that the Lord has something greater in store for you. Amen. Amen. Know that he has something greater in store for you. Father, I thank Amen. you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, hmm. There is an issue with relationship. I, I don't know if I should talk about this on this platform. Um, relationship. I don't know if I should talk about this on this platform. And should I call you? But um, let's talk. Okay. Let's talk about it later, okay? Okay, please. Yeah, please. let's talk about it. You can direct message me. Um, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, 
Are you planning? Are you planning of remarrying, marrying somebody that is not in the UK? No. No. Okay. Let's talk. Please. Okay. Let's talk. Let's Please. talk about that. Okay. Yes. Please. God bless you. Okay. Thank you. God bless Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Mahasuhende. Victoria, God richly bless you for joining us this morning. Victoria Sangai, God bless you for joining us this morning. I'll go into the word of God. Um, I believe that we are at a time in our life as believers where, where people, people believe that the chances of something evil befalling them is even higher than something good happening to them i'll say it again i believe that we are at a time in our lives in the body of christ where some people believe that chances are something evil will happen to them than something good We serve a God that does the impossible. We serve a God that is looking. Oh my God. Grace, Grace Lado. Is she still there? The lady from um, Grace Lado. Are you back? Grace. The lady that was on the, um, in Egypt. Cairo, Egypt. Grace Lado. Please. If you are back on, let me know. Grace Lado, I'd like to pray for you. I'd like to pray with you before you go. Grace Lado. Something happened in Luke chapter 1, the verse 18. And I'll read there. It says, Zachariah, when the angel of the Lord had visited him, Zachariah said, he asked the angel, how can I be sure of this? I am an old man. And my wife is well along in years. I am an old man and my wife is well along in years. How can this happen in my life? Because I am an old man and my wife is well along in years. I am talking about the God of the impossible. Living a life of expectation, living a life of the miraculous. God is always speaking. Our God is always doing. And our God is always looking for an opportunity to do something that is impossible, something miraculous in the life of his people. I believe in a God, the God that I serve is a God that is able to heal the sick. The God that I serve is a God that is able to make the barren conceive. The God that I serve is a God that is able to make the blind see. The God that I serve is a God that is able to heal the sick. It's a God that is able to heal cancer. It's a God that is able to heal bronchitis. It's a God that is able to heal any respiratory diseases. It's a God that is able to heal any issue with the kidneys. It's a God that is able to heal us from our pain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And something happened in the life of Zechariah. The Bible says that after the angel of the Lord had given him the message, the good news about his, his wife conceiving and him becoming a father. The Bible says that he doubted. He said, how can I be sure of this? How can I be sure of this? How can I be sure of this? That question is a question of unbelief and a distrust in the Lord. And it's a question that most people in our churches 
most believers, most Christians are walking around and carrying that question and carrying that in their minds. And for that reason, we limit God in his works in our lives. Why? Because we believe that we have believed a gospel, we have believed a message that says that miracles does not happen to believers anymore. That miracles ceased when the last apostle died. That miracles are a sign from the devil. And for that reason, we walk our Christian life and we live our Christian life looking and annulling and, and disqualifying the miraculous from happening in our lives. As a matter of fact, we will sign up for every prayer meeting. We will line up for every prayer meeting. And still in our heart, we do not accept the miraculous to happen in our lives. This is a high priest. Zechariah was a priest of the Lord. He was a Levite by birth. He had grew up in the temple. He knew the ordinances of the Lord. He knew everything that was written in the Torah. As a matter of fact, he was qualified to go and burn incense. Not every priest has the privilege to go and burn incense. To enter the holies of holies. To receive the offerings of the people. This is a priest that could enter and accept the offering, accept the sins of the people and present it in the presence of God. But he still walked in unbelief. He still did not believe that he served a God that was able to answer his prayer. He served a God that was able to give him a child. He served a God that was able to do, regardless of his age, regardless of his limitations, regardless of the, the things that he lacked in his life. He so walked in unbelief. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And most believers in our generation walks in that same thing. We are very active in our lives. We are very active in our churches. We save, we, we sing in our churches, we sing in our choir, we carry the gospel, we preach the gospel, and we annul the power that is in the gospel. Why? Because we have believed a message that said miracles are a sign from the devil. As a matter of fact, we suspect, <laughs> we suspect any preacher, we suspect any ministry that is marked by signs and wonders. But you know what? The last time I checked my Bible, Jesus Christ said that these are the signs that will follow them that believe. So when I see a place, where I see a ministry, where I see a person that is walking in signs and wonders, I see what? A believer. God is not looking at our credentials. God is not looking at our age. God is looking, Jesus Christ is looking at a heart that believes. A heart that believes in the miraculous. A heart that believes and is ready to receive from him. Not a heart that doubts. Not a heart that suspects and annul anything that the Holy Spirit is doing in this end time. Hallelujah. Zechariah was a high priest, was well respected in that order. As a matter of fact, the chances of you being elected or you being selected by lot to go into the temple to offer sacrifices and to receive the offerings of the people, there were people that served in the priesthood and never had the opportunity to do that. He was well favored. But yet, when he had an encounter to believe in his heart about who and what the gospel says about him and what the gospel he preached, he failed. Hallelujah. He failed. My prayer is today, if you're watching me at the sound of my voice, today you will not fail 
when you are presented with the opportunity to believe in God, to believe in Jesus Christ, to receive the thing that you have prayed for, the thing that you are lacking in your life, the thing that you have fasted for, the thing that you are waiting on God to receive, my prayer is you do not fail, but you pass that test when that test is presented to you. Hallelujah. 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 How our God desire, how Jesus Christ desire, how the Holy Spirit desire to see believers with your heart waiting and yearning to see God do the miraculous in their lives. The miraculous, the life of the miraculous, this life of signs and wonders is the portion of every believer. Today, if you talk to most Christians, they believe more that something evil would happen to them than even God doing something great in their lives. And as we think, as we desire, usually it's what happens in our lives. The Bible says, it says that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So you can walk around expecting evil to happen to you, expecting your car to break down, expecting an accident, expecting a devil to do something to you, and nothing will come. Why? Because it's what you are expecting. You can, on the other hand, you can walk around expecting God to meet you at every point of your need. You can walk around saying, my God is Jehovah Rapha, my healer. He heals me of all my sickness. Or you can be like Mary, whom the same angel showed up in her life. The Bible says, oh God, I thank you, Holy Spirit. The Bible says that same angel that went to Zechariah, that same angel went to a third, a 16-year-old child, a 16-year-old girl with no credential, with no priesthood lineage, a 16-year-old virgin and gave her the same message and Mary's response was let it be let it be unto me Lord according to your word I pray for somebody watching me this morning I pray for somebody listening to me this morning that your word will be let it be unto me O Lord according to your word let it be unto me according to the multitudes of your word concerning my life when you are presented with the opportunity to believe in the gospel and to believe in the miraculous. Your word will be, let it be unto me according to your word, Lord. Let it be unto me according to what you say. Let it be unto me according to your word. That there shall not be any doubt in your heart. That there shall not be any unbelief in your heart. But you shall believe in the word of the Lord. That he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, the more than we ever desire or think about. That as far as the heavens is from the earth, so the thoughts of the Lord concerning his people. I pray that when the Lord presents the opportunity for us to believe, that we should receive the miraculous in our lives. That we should believe and receive the impossible in our lives. We shall not fail, but we shall pass that test in our lives. Somebody, if you just join us, feel free to release the hearts and share. If you just join us, feel free to release the hearts and share. Your God did not call you for you to walk in pain. One thing that hurts my heart and hurts me to my core is when I see people that have served God faithfully. People that have known Jesus Christ all their lives. They have stayed in the church all their lives. They have served God faithfully in the body of Christ and in the house of God. And they have to battle sicknesses. And they have to battle pain. And they have to battle shame. And they have to battle lack in their life. Lack of money, lack of respect, lack of, lack of honor, lack of favor in their lives. Holy Spirit, I thank you. 
it hurts me in my being when I see that I'm like oh God what our lives are supposed to be a witness to unbelievers our lives are supposed to be a witness to people from outside and if we walk in luck if we walk in shame if we walk in weakness if we walk in sickness then our life in nowhere will be of glory to you and we shall not be able to bear testimonies that we desire to bear hallelujah hallelujah it hurts my heart when i see a believer that have served god all their lives and they have to battle with sicknesses i had a call the other day from a woman she has served god faithfully from her childhood she served god faithfully this is somebody who has never, she, she never, she never used her money to buy liquor, to, to play lottery, to, to do the things that we see as sinful. As the world will spend their money. This woman served God faithfully. She is faithful with her tithe. But, she has to walk in sickness. She, she is living a life where, where she has, she's got, she got days, she's got months to leave. And when I seen, and when I talked to her, something in me came to, something in me awoke in. There was a, a divine anger anger at the devil anger at at the devil anger at the, the sickness that afflicted her anger at that demon that afflicted her something in me arose that this cannot be she is a daughter of zion she has served god faithfully she is a representative of the kingdom she is an ambassador of christ as an ambassador of Christ, there is no way she should walk in shame and in sickness. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. He said, what I see my father do, that is what I do. Which means the Father is always doing something. The Father is always doing something. He is seeking for opportunity to heal the sick. He is seeking for opportunity to bless your life. He is seeking for opportunity to save a soul that is lost. Are you going to believe? Are you going to believe? Are you going to believe? Are you going to believe that you should walk in your healing? That you should receive the things that you've been praying for? That you should receive the impossible? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For Zachariah, he gave excuses. First he said, you know, how will I be sure of this? The verse 18. How can I be sure of this? I am an old man. These are some of the excuses that we give. You know, God, you know, I am just old. I am an old man. I am an old man. And my wife, Is well along in years. 
Hallelujah. A Ghanaian will say, Mary, Mary, if you call any mupa. I am old and my wife is well along in years. Zechariah was thinking, Kronos time, he was thinking in the time of man. He didn't know that in the midst and in the presence of God, there is nothing like time. Because he lives in eternity. He lives at a place where there is no time, there is no boundary. He was talking about time. He was talking about his years. He has gone to school and they have told him that at the age of 90 years, you know, a man, your ten cannot function properly, so you should give up. He has gone to school and he was told that as a woman at the age of 49, 50, you know, that is you are monopause and uh, you are mama pause. And you, at that point, at that point, you look for the mercy of God. There is no way you can even conceive. And Zachariah was walking with that wisdom. The wisdom of men. Our knowledge of time is what limits God. It's what limits God. And when we come to God, we look at him and we say, you know what, God? What says the time now is it's uh, 89 years now and in the next year I'll be 90 years and you know what there is no way I can conceive there is no way I can I can have a baby some of you give excuses with where you were born you know I'm a black person I'm also a woman in this church in this area Women are not regarded for anything. So you know what? I'm just going to live my life as I have it right now. If there is anything good that is going to come to me, it has to come from my husband. And most of you women watching me, you put your life on hold. Most of you women, listen to me carefully. Listen. Listen to me carefully. Most of you women watching me have put your lives on hold. Until you wait, you want to wait till you get married because you believe that nothing good can come from you until a man comes into your life and present through that man that good thing comes out of your life. You believe that nothing good can come out, anything good that will come out of your life will have to come from your husband. And for that reason, you are busy seeking that you should get married, and some of you have fallen victims. To the wrong man. You believe that any good that will come out of your life will have to come through that marital portal. Will have to come through that marital portal. You believe that any good will happen to you will have to come through your man. You know, I have to marry. And when my wife, my husband opened a business, when my wife travels, when my wife, my husband, sorry, when my husband travels, when my husband opens a job, then I also have a job. When my husband travels, he can bring us me money. And you have put your life on hold, waiting for your prince in a shining armor. So you are not doing anything. So you are not expecting God to do anything. Anything will only start, any good thing will only start when you get married. And until you get married, you put your life in the shelves, waiting, 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 waiting. And you are waiting to hear that man that will come with a business plan. This guy will come and talk big. And that's why most women, unfortunately, it's not the women here. It's not the one, the woman or the 62 of you here, none of you is part of it. None of you women are part of it. But most, the women out there, those that are not here today, they are waiting to hear for a man that will talk big, will say big stuff, will build castles in the air, 
will tell them they will put a bridge where there is no river. They will build a bridge upon a place where there is no river to cross. <laughs> and when you hear that, because that is what you were expecting, when they, you hear that, you become a victim to these men. God has something good in your life as a woman and as a man which is outside of your marriage. You can become something great before you get married as a woman. And that is why I don't want you to limit the hand of God working in your life. I don't want you to limit the hand of God, the opportunity of God to manifest greatness, to do the miraculous in your life. Jesus is in the miracle doing business. He is in the business of doing miracles, signs and wonders, the impossible, the unthinkable. I was telling a lady, one of our um, daughters in Christ, I, I think she is here, she is on the line, I don't know. I was telling, sharing her, my story with her. How the Lord out of nowhere brought an organization into my life, gave me something that is priceless, something that you can put price on it. Handed it to me, an immigrant, an African man, in a foreign land and how the Lord saw me through every single step and every step on the line there was an obstacle how the Lord helped me bridge how the Lord helped us cross that every single barrier by providing making a way happen in our lives I was sharing that with her she was at the point of giving up on a business that she was trying to start and the other day she called me, she said, man of God, there is something, woman of God, she told my wife, there's something great that has happened, beats her mind. A place that she was not supposed to, to be allowed to do something. The landlord called her and said, you know what, I have a better place. You don't have to spend money even to furnish that place. A place that is already zoned, authorized for her to open the business that she wanted to open up. You don't have to limit yourself. You don't have to put yourself in the box. There are some women that believe, there are some people that believe that nothing good will happen to them except they have Mr. Right in, uh, beside them. No. 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 No, my sister. No, my brother. You don't have to wait until you have Mr. Right or Mrs. Right next to you. God still wants to do the unthinkable in your life. God still wants to heal your body. Hallelujah. You don't have to limit yourself. You don't have to limit yourself because of where you are. I heard something which, is so, which was so sad. Which was so sad. The other day, Jesus Christ. I heard something which was so sad. Jesus Christ, the Son of the Most High God. The Bible said, I read, I came across it. He said he went into Bethlehem, the, um, he went to Nazareth, the place of his birth. And he could not do much. He could not do much except pray for a few folks. Where in the other town, in the other city, he had prayed for everybody. He prayed for God, their healing. He came to his own people. And they did not believe him. Because they knew who he was. A son of a carpenter. A son of a carpenter. They knew his father. They knew his mother. They knew his brothers. And for that reason, they did not believe in his message. And for that reason, they could not receive from him. 
some of you come here and you limit yourself this is facebook you know this is facebook nothing good can come out of facebook it's just facebook all you know about facebook is you you go there and watch comedy you go there and watch people posting their new statuses posting things that they do not own things that they have borrowed and they returned you only go there to watch those things and you come here and you don't believe that any good thing can happen to you you don't even give God a chance to touch your life and for that reason you come and you go back as you came some come on here because of familiarity oh Ernest the woman of God I used to be friends with them all they were my mates I knew them they were my mates they were my mates they were my mates they were your mates it is not them working here it is Jesus that is at work on this platform and for that reason you come here and you walk away not receiving anything Zachariah has gotten too familiar why because his father was a Lazarene a, a, a Levite his, his father was a Levite his father was a priest his grandfather was a priest his great-grandfather was a priest as a matter of fact he also married a wife whose father was a priest his wife Elizabeth was also a priest uh, a Levite she came from the, the, the priesthood so he, he was so familiar with the things that happen in church sometimes we can be so familiar with church we can be so familiar with, with the things that, that are actually killing us that the things that are actually limiting us we are so familiar with that thing that we it becomes the norm you know we go to church every day I don't expect anything so you come here with no expectation you know I go to church I go to prayer I'm just gonna stay and just pray you know just gonna pray just gonna pray you have prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed tell me when was the last time you experienced an answer to the prayer that you prayed when was the last time you had an experience like when was the last time that you prayed do you believe the time when you received Jesus you got born again you prayed and the next hour there was an answer that was somebody that had no experience no 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 familiarity with things of, of God you heard the gospel you received Jesus you got born again and you prayed you know you you wanted something for school and you prayed and the next day nothing happened you prayed again and the next day something happened and the worst thing that happened to you was you went to church and you met some believers and since then they told you you got in so familiar with church and you pray and you come out of church it becomes a tradition you go to church you go and pray and come back home you go to prayer meetings you go and pray and meet with your friends church you know um catch up with friends and you come back home and you don't see any answer familiarity kills the flow of the miracles it kills the flow that it 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 siphons the power it siphons the power it builds the barrier it builds it builds a hedge it's it puts the stop sign on the flow of the miraculous hand of God in our lives. And it tells God, like, you know what? You can only come this far, but you cannot touch me. It tells God that you, you know, I believe, I, I, I know, yes, I've read about it, but it's not my portion. No, the miraculous is for you. The miraculous life is your portion. You also deserve to receive signs and what is you also deserve to receive an answer to your prayer you also deserve to see God do the impossible in your life only if you believe only if you believe I wish the church will believe again 
I wish Christians would believe again. We don't need a revival of fire. We don't need a revival. The only revival we need in the body of Christ is a revival of believing again. We have to believe 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 this gospel again. We have to believe this gospel again. We have to believe again. We have to believe again. My sister Grace, you are back. Thank God. I'm going to pray for you. I see the Lord started working upon on you already. We have to believe again. We have to believe again. Unbelief kills the flow of the miraculous in our lives. As a matter of fact, a Christian, you should wake up every morning believing. What you shouldn't you should step out in the day believing that something great is going to happen. That as you step out in your door, you're going to receive a great a good message. There is this story of one of the of the generals if anybody remembers that they can they can post it on there there is this story of one of the god's generals he ran an orphanage he ran an orphanage and when i read it he said he never solicited funds from anybody they never asked for money from anybody every morning he will step out, they will get up in the morning, pray with the children, and when they open up the door, in front of their door, everything they needed for that day will be sitting at the door waiting for them. And they will just pick it up and lock the door and go back inside of their house and enjoy that thing. If it is, if it is a bottle of milk that they needed, they will get up in the morning thank God, worship God, and pray. And they'll open the door, and lo and behold, a bottle of milk is sitting there waiting for them. They will pick it up, go back inside, and thank God, and enjoy the bottle of milk. If it is a box of cereal that they needed, they get up in the morning, give thanks to God, pray, worship God, and when they open up the door, there's a cereal box of cereal sitting outside waiting for them they'll pick it up and go back inside and enjoy it they never ask anyone talk to anybody solicited for money from no one hallelujah God provided for them every day whatever they lacked and that is your portion as a believer. We should walk out of the day every day in the morning, walk out our door, and whatever we desire in the day should come. That is what Jesus Christ said. He said, we should not worry about each day because each day has its own worries that each day will give us. The day is supposed to worry about us. Every day has its own worry -o. And the worry of the day is providing for you. It is not your portion as a believer to worry about the day. All you have to do is to believe. All you have to do as a Christian is to believe. It's to believe in God. Have faith in Him to provide your needs. Oh my God. I wish the church would believe again. If you just join us, feel free to share and release the hearts. If you just join us, feel free to share and release the hearts. If the church will believe again, if you and I will believe again, how awesome our life will be. If we will not limit God, 
Another way we limit God is we look at the vessel. I was telling you about how some people will come here and say, you know, oh, I see NS, I see, oh, his wife, woman of God. We used to be in the same place. They are my mates. Yes, they were your mates. Jesus Christ was somebody else's mate. I'm not saying I'm Jesus. I'm not saying the woman of God is Jesus. But God at any point in time can choose any vessel to use. Can choose any vessel to use. Sometimes God will test our hearts. God will test our minds to reveal our heart. Sometimes he will test our mind to reveal what is actually in our heart. Naaman. Naaman was a great commander, an army general. The Bible says that he suffered from leprosy. He suffered from leprosy. And his servant, a young girl that served in his house as a slave, that young girl told him about the prophet of God. And the Bible says that he went out seeking this prophet of God. And when he came to the prophet of God, the Bible says that the prophet of God told him to go lay in the river Jericho. I believe it's the river Jericho. The river, um, yes. He went, he told him to go and, and oh, the, not the river. He told him to go and lay himself in the river seven times. Dip himself seven times in the river. This, um, this army general was offended. He was offended by it. Why? God tested his mind to reveal what it was in his heart. He got offended. He said, and the great and mighty rivers in my land that I should come and dip myself in this dirty water. Some of you are thinking, why should I come to Facebook and dip myself in this dirty place? Facebook is dirty. Why should I come and dip myself in this dirty place? Why should I come? I know these people. Why should I come and dip myself? Why should I sow to them? Some of them, some of some of the people, they when you come and you tell them, go and sow. I can <laughs> if I if I'm supposed to name testimonies of people that have sown, and in 20, 48 hours a turn around in 48 hours for just sowing. Not million dollars, not a million dollars, not not a hundred a thousand dollars. But just showing things like $20, $10, $5, and what God has done in their life for just obeying. Just obeying. If I'm supposed to line these people up, we will, we will not even have time here. But God will always test your mind to reveal what was in your heart. This man got offended. This army general got offended. This army general got offended. Why? Because he was expecting more. He was expecting more. You know, he came with gifts. He came with gold and diamond to give this prophet of God. But when he came and he was told to go dip yourself five times in the river, and you'll be, you'll be saved seven times actually in that river and you'll be saved. You, you'll be healed. He got offended. And he nearly, he nearly missed his healing. Sometimes the directions that we may give you will not make sense. Some of you, I have talked to some of pe some people and they are like, you know, man of God, I like to sow. I don't even bring up this issue of sowing because I don't, I don't like to. Because some of the people, you, 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 immediately you start talking to them, you can know in your heart where they're coming from. God is seeking an opportunity to heal his people. If you only believe. If you only believe. 
If you only believe, the impossible will be yours. If you only believe, the miraculous will be yours. If you only believe, there will be a turnaround in your life. Like Mary, let your answer be, let it be unto me, Lord, according to your word. According to your word, Lord. 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 Grace, where are you? Grace, I want to pray for you. Grace, Lado, I want to pray for you. Grace, send me a request to be added on the camera, to bring you on the camera. Grace, Lado, in Cairo, Egypt. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Mahasuhandi yatale brani mosoni. Kadele brani mosuhandi yataya brani mosoni asaire. Your name is holy, holy is the Lord. Mahasuni hasiende. Hello, Grace, are you there? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Your name is holy. Release the hearts and share. All 70 of you, release the hearts and share. May the Habrani Mosu Handi Yataya. Father, I thank you. Maida Haprani Mosuhande. Is Grace still on the line? I thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Jennifer Daniel. Jennifer Daniel, Jennifer Daniel, I'd like you to come on. Jennifer Daniel, Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Jennifer Daniel, Mahasuhandi, you're telling me. Okay, Grace, Grace, come on. Grace, come on. Hello, it's me, Grace. Grace, is that you? Yeah. You have changed. Yeah, it's me, Grace. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh yeah. wow. You are styling, Grace. Go Hollywood. Yeah. Go Hollywood, Grace. <laughs> wow. Oh, we thank God. I thank God for your life. Jesus yeah. wants to heal you. Jesus wants to heal you. And I like to pray for you. Okay? Yeah. I like to pray with you. Are you holding the phone? Can you put a phone somewhere where you don't have to touch it? Okay. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. As you have given me, as you have given me, I give. In the name of Jesus, I thank you that you hear us when we pray. Today I stand 
I stand here under this onset and I pray and I release your hand to touch my brain. from the crown of her head to the soul of her feet. Any spirit of infirmity, any spirit of infirmity that is afflicting her body, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. I come to this now in the name of Jesus. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cast out any form of his family to come out out of her body. Now, in the name of Jesus, touch Holy Spirit. I crush every pain in her body. From the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. I declare that that pain wither and die. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray any spirit of infirmity that is sent to torment her, to torment her life, that is afflicted her kidney. Oh, you Holy, Holy Spirit, I thank you. You foul spirit. You foul spirit that is engulfing her kidney, that is sucking the life out of her kidney. You the spirit that manifests yourself as the octopus, that is entangled her kidney. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost that it pass out of her body. Out! Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, out of her. You foul spirit. I declare that your words come to an end. Now! 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 Touch in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. Come out of her now. Now. Out of her body. In the name name of Jesus. Mahaswendi kataya broni mosuhande. Katele broni mosuhande katele neyata hapa hasoni kitani. Katele broni mosuhande yateli ya kataya broni mosuhande yateya. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I minister the healing power. I minister the healing power of God. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Holy Ghost. Now. Yes. Now. Yes. Now. Yes. Now. Yes. Touch. Yes. Touch. Release. Yes. Her. Yes. Now. Release. Her. Yes. Now. Yes. Now. Yes. Now. Yes. Touch. Yes. Yes. Mahasua and the Kataya Bloody Mosuani. My God, Mahaswandi Kadali. Grace. Yeah. I see a green substance coming out of your body. The Lord just touched you. Were you are you feeling the pains? Any are you still feeling the pains? Just a little. I'm sorry. My knees. The pain is in your knees. My knees is still pain. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Your your knee is stiff. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. 
Okay. What about the, the ones on your body? Is it gone? Here, yeah, the... No. It's not paining. Only my knees. Only your, your knees now? Yeah. Okay. We're going to pray for your knee. Your knee is going to go away. Okay? That pain in yes. your knees is going to go away right now. I'm praying for you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Touch that knee, Holy Spirit. Yes. Touch that knee, Holy Spirit. I release yes. that knee. I release that knee. I release that knee. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. I release that knee. I release that knee. I release that knee. I release that knee. From any form of pain. From any form of sickness. I pray in the name of Jesus. You demonic entity. That is lodging in between her knees. I call you out. In the name of Jesus. I call you out. You spirit of infirmity. In her knee. Come out. 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 In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Holy Ghost, I thank you. Touch her now. Touch her now, right now. Holy Ghost, Mahaswendi, Katele, Pleni, Mosuhandi. Pehasi, and the Katale, Broni, Mosuhandi. Grace. Yes. Okay. Touch that knee. Do what you could not do before. Let me see if you can do what you could not do before on that knee. Whatever you could not do before, start doing that thing right now. Are you able to stand on that knee? Yes. Okay. Okay. Are you able to kneel on it? Is it feeling better? Yes, it's better. It's better? It's better. Thank you. Yes, you thank still you. have pain there? Thank Is you. the pain gone? Thank you, man of God. Thank oh, you Jesus. very much. Is yes. the pain gone? Yeah, it's gone. It's Holy God, we thank you, Father. Yes, I can kneel now. Oh, Jesus. I can kneel down now. Oh, Jesus. I can, I before, can kneel on before, it now. Before we prayed, you had the pain? Yes, I was paining. I was paining, but now I can bend. I can stand quickly like this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. My Thank God. You. Amen. My God. You are awesome, Lord. Yes, my God. <laughs> I know my work is done here today. <laughs> Holy Ghost, we thank you. You are awesome. Yes. Amen. All power. All glory. Lord of glory, thank you. Holy Ghost. Meha sahapa. Kadele prende mosuhande yadayapa. You are Amen. awesome. You are awesome, Lord. We bless your yes. name, Mahasien de Kataya, brother Muslim. Glory yes. be to God. Glory be to God, my God. 
Amen. Amen. Come and fill this place. You are awesome, God. May I swear to Yes. <laughs> yes. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Yes, I'm releasing. Grace. Yes, I'm releasing. <laughs> Grace. Yes. I'm, I'm releasing. Now, when you came on the camera, you had pains all over your body. Right? Yes, I was paining all my body. I cannot stand peacefully. I just cry when I'm standing up. All my body, especially when I'm going to sleep, is really hurting, paining. But now I'm light. I'm light now. Oh my God! How long have you? Were you feeling that pain? It's long time. It's long time. I, it's long time, like uh, three or four years. Long Four time. years. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Did you ever have to sleep? Sorry. No, when I'm going to sleep, every day I'm crying. <laughs> every you day. You cry before when you go I'm to waking sleep. Up. When I when I I I go to sleep at, at ten. Maybe if there is a program like this, I would watch until eleven. And then I go to sleep, but I'm still I'm not I'm not feeling good. It's burning, wow. but now I can do everything now. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, thank you. Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank, we you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh, my great Jesus. <laughs> we thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Your kidney is healed. I want you to go see the doctor because your kidney is healed. When I was praying for you, I see a green substance come out. Come out of it. Yeah. God has healed you. He's given you a brand new kidney. You have to make yeah. appointments and go see the doctor. To confirm that. Yes. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank you, Jesus. Yes. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, amen. My God, my God, my God. Where are your children? Do you have children? Yes, I have two children, and I have a big problem with my children are not uh, being good in their school. So I, every time I'm thinking about them, that is a big problem for me. Don't worry, God. God will take care of your children. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, just commit, I'm just sure. commit them, just commit them to God. They will be great. The reason why I ask you, yeah. they, you have two boys. Uh, one boy, one girl. The girl wow. is now uh, 20, 24, and the boy is 13 years. They are only two. One boy, okay. one girl. Okay. The Lord will give you another boy. Hmm. Well, I don't know. For some reason, I see two boys. I don't know. <laughs> and you're saying you are saying, hey, at my age, how am I gonna have a baby? There is nothing <laughs> impossible with God. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Holy Ghost, I thank you, Father. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Nanahima, the Lord is giving your father a kidney right now in the name of Jesus. I release. Amen. I sent ministry angels, the grace of God that is working in the life of grace. I send that grace, that same power to touch anyone on this platform, wherever you are su suffering from, whatever sickness you have, whatever infirmity that is afflicting you. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost that you are set free today in the name of Jesus. That you are set free today in the name of Jesus. That you are set free from any form of infirmity. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, Father. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Amen. Jesus, Grace, I'll let you go. God richly bless you, okay? Amen. Amen. God bless you. Father, I thank you. Isn't our God wonderful? Somebody that have been in pain for three to four years. She said, sometimes I go to bed, I cry before I go to bed. Oh, Jesus. Today, under this unction, anything that is a problem in your life, that you go to bed crying over, being it an immigration issue, under this ocean, I pray, and I release, I release, I release, I release, I release, I release, deliverance, deliverance for anyone watching us this morning, in the name of Jesus, that you have to cry at night concerning any issue in your life. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I pray, I bury that issue. I bury that issue. I bury that issue. I declare that it has no power over your life. I declare that it has no power over your life. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I set you free. I set you free from any pain, from any shame, from anything that gives you sleepless night. In the name of Jesus. Any form of infirmity in your body, as you believe, we cast that infirmity out in the name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Ghost. Which saves you I bless your name. Father, I thank you. Kumalo Sise. Kumalo Sise. Can you come on? Kumalo Sise. Kumalo Sise. Can you come on? Kumalo Sise. Rowena, Kumalo Sise. Rowena Kumalo Sise. Come on. Father, we thank you, Mahaswa and the Kataya. Rowena Kumalo Sise. Sisi. Can you accept? My God, I thank you. Rowena Kumalo Sisi. Come on. Father, I thank you. Where the Mahaswandi Ataya Brahmosoli. 
Father, we pass on the other, the brother, the most on the other. Father, we thank you. Mahasi and the cartel, the brother. Holy Ghost, I thank you. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Something delicious. Rich in protein. With reduced sugar. Something for you. Quiet total sl Hello, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Do you have, um, my God, where are you? Yeah, there's a bit of blockage over the connection. It's going to get better. Okay, where are you located? I can, uh, it's going to get better. My phone is slow. Okay, do you, where are you located? Yeah. France. In okay. France. You make my life Have we talked before? Have we ever talked? No, it's the first, first time I'm seeing okay, you. Good. I would like to pray for you. Yes, sir, please, in the name of Jesus. I'd like to pray for you and um I'd like to pray for you. Um let me see. God Jesus, Holy Ghost, I thank you. You serve you serve God faithfully. You have a good heart for God. Hallelujah. Are you there? Are you there? Okay, I lost her. Okay. Um, I'll try one more person. I'll try one more person and I'll wrap up. I'll try one more person and I'll wrap up. Kumalo Sise. Sisi. Are you there, Cece? Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Very well. Very well. Where are you from? Sorry. Hello? 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 Yes, your Hello? network your network is very bad. Can you hear me? Hello? Okay, let me... We'll do this again. Rowana, are you there? Your network is very bad. You can hear me? Okay. Okay. Yes. What, what is wrong with your daughter? 
what is wrong with your daughter? Cleft palate, okay. She just undergo. Did she just do the surgery? Did she just do the surgery? Okay. She's too small to do the surgery. Yes. Okay. Yes. Father, I pray, Mahasuhani. My God, Mahasuhani. Do you have a son? No. She the only the only child you have? They are they are three girls. Three girls. Okay. Yes. Has anybody an issue with their legs? Come again. Has any anyone has an, a problem with their legs? She's the one. This one. Okay, she has a problem with her leg. Yes, she's the one. Okay. It didn't hold. Okay. The Lord is telling me that I should pray for somebody with an issue with her leg. I didn't know it was her. So, um, I'm going to pray for her. She's the one. She's the one. Okay. Okay. The, is, she, is she able to... Let me... She's not able to walk on the leg, is it? She's still young. She hasn't started walking. She's nine months. Nine months. Yes. Okay. But for some reason, you feel she may not be able to walk. That's why I think, but they say that they will make a something for her. Okay. The Lord wants to heal her. Okay. Do you believe? Mm. Do you believe that Jesus can I'm heal? hearing. Yes. Do you believe that Jesus can heal her? Yes, you will be healed. Amen. I like that. I like that faith. Yes. <laughs> yeah. She will be healed. She will be healed, yes. I want to pray for her now. Is she, is she crawling? Is she crawling on the legs? It's one leg. Only one leg. Only one leg. Okay. What is wrong with the other leg? She only have one leg. It. She has, but the it didn't form properly. Okay. The toy. Okay. okay. I'm going to pray for you. And that okay. issue with the leg will be, will be rectified, will be fixed. Yes. Okay? Okay. You believe that? Yes, I believe. Okay. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Can you show the phone? Point. Hello, mommy. Take the camera. Use the phone to show the leg. Let me see how it looks like. Let everybody see how it looks like. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you never lie. Your word is true and amen. Your word is yea and amen. As you have shown me, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. As you have shown me, Lord, I pray. Not by my own might, not by my own power, but by your hand and by your will. Holy Spirit, I receive the grace to do the impossible. I pray the grace to do the impossible. I speak to those legs Amen. in the name of Jesus. I speak to those Amen. legs in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any form of deformity, Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. May strength come into these Amen. legs in the mighty name of Jesus. May growth come into these legs in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray by your hand, Holy Spirit. Amen. Glorify Amen. yourself this morning. You walk in the life of this family. You walk. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that these legs will walk, that these feet will walk, that these feet will walk, O oh God, into greatness. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cast any form of infirmity, spirit of infirmity. I rebuke your works in the name of Jesus over her lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cast your works, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, now I pray, oh God, I speak to these legs, I speak to these arms, to straighten out in the name of Jesus. I speak to these legs and these arms, oh God, Amen. to stretch out. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Come out, toes, come out. Amen. I speak to Amen. the index toes. Amen. I speak to the God to the index index uh, toe. I pray to every single toe in this land to come out. I speak, oh God, to the ankles to fall from right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to it right now to come out in the mighty name of Jesus, to grow properly in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to stretch out in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel any spirit of fear, any spirit of God of doubt in the mighty name of Jesus. I cast it out in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, I thank you. I bless your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Hello? Rowena. Mahasuendi Katere. Kadele prone masuhandi yataya brone masini. What happened to her? Mahasuhandi katele brone masuhandi. Bre mahasuhandi hasien kataya brone masuhandi. Rowena, can she come back on? Father, repay her sien di kataya. Missy say, if you are on, send me an invitation again to come back on. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Tostida Baringil. Tostida, we got disconnected. I'd like to bring you on and pray briefly for you. Um, I'd like to bring you on and pray briefly for you. Miss Rowena Sisi. Sisi, because of time, I don't know. Okay, we got disconnected. What happened? What happened? Uh, uh, internet is slow, Papa. This internet is slow. I pray with you. I pray with you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray over your daughter. I pray for sanity in the name of Jesus Christ. I cast out any spirit of fear that has found itself in her life. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that your power be released in her life. That she shall have a manifestation of your, of your grace. She shall walk in your ultimate grace. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O oh Lord. I cancel any form of disorder any form of disorder that runs in the family. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray as she has received you as a Lord and personal Savior. I ask, O oh God, that your hand and your power shall be made manifest in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Is anybody in your family a pastor? Who is the reverend? Who, who works as a minister or something like that? I don't know. You don't know. I'm the only one that I know believe in Jesus. You are the only that one. go to church. Yes. Okay. okay. And I have. A are you a are, are you married? No. No. Okay. Because the Lord is telling me to pray, for someone, to pray for someone, but the person. Does um, the person is doing God's work? He does like he's gonna work as a minister, as a pastor. So I don't know if that is you, but um, I pray for you that the grace of God that makes people excel in ministry, that grace will locate you. The Lord, will, the Lord's hand is upon you. You do great things in the house, in the in the in the kingdom of God. That's true. You will That's true. do great things in the kingdom of God. And I want you to walk in that boldness. Don't let anybody intimidate you. There are people in the kingdom in the in, in the church that will intimidate other people. Don't let nobody intimidate you. Just stay focused. Stay focused. Be grounded Amen. in the Lord. Don't let anyone discourage you. Because they are it happened already. When I was praying, they come and stop me from praying, and I don't like it because I know it's not good when you're praying. Somebody come and stop you from praying. It's not good. They stop you from praying in the church? Yes. Why? Because they said I must go talk to the pastor. If I have a problem, I must go talk to the pastor. I was bowing on my knees with my knees and my hand on the ground and praying. And they said, if I, and they stopped me from praying, they said, if I have a problem, I must go talk to the pastor. And I didn't like it. What kind of church is that? Is it, a, where, what is it? What's the name? Okay, don't mention the name. Don't mention the name. I prefer not. Yeah, don't mention the name. Um, but, yeah. You don't I think, to... no, I think it's a good, I think it's a good church, but it needs some organization. It needs some, they need to relook uh, relook their behavior. They need to change behavior. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's the culture. It's the church culture that has... Yes, to yes. They need it's... to change behavior. Even the pastor and the, every, they need to change behavior. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, sometimes um, every organization has a culture, the way things are done there. And um, I don't think it's a, an issue for you to go to the altar and pray. Nothing should stop you from doing that. And don't let anybody... They don't like it. I don't think they like it too much. When you go, uh, when you pray like that by yourself, like a warrior prayer, they don't yeah. like it too much. And when you go in front of the altar, pray, they don't like it too much. I think it's something to do with the organization, the law and the rules and regulation and something like that. Yeah. Well, you, you don't have to be in the church to pray. You can pray at your house. Yes, that's true. I do it, but sometimes I feel like, but I'm, I will try not to do it too much. Yeah. Yeah. 
the Lord will. The, the pastor Lord will. is positive. Yeah, the pastor is positive because I saw the Holy Spirit on him. He was shining in my dreams. So he's positive. He, he have the anointing on him. Okay. But he just needs some organization. Yeah, I think I think is there's too many gatekeepers, people running around doing their own thing. That's true. That's very 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 true. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes the leadership sometimes is great, but the people around people sometimes, you know, take things overboard. They're not positive. And I've got yeah. a dream about it and I've told them already. Okay. Okay. So um just stay focused. Don't let anybody intimidate you. Don't let nothing distract you. Stay focused and fulfill Amen. that. Okay. Um, do you have children? Yes, Papa. I have children. Boys? One boy. Okay. One handsome boy. One handsome boy. Where is he? He's, uh, <laughs> he's at work. At work. Okay. Handsome boy. That's good. Yeah. Um, I thank God for your life. I see some greatness in him. Some greatness in him. Um, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I see some greatness Thank in you, him. Jesus. But um, as as an immigrant in a foreign land, you know, we have to know how we we lead our lives. As an immigrant in a foreign land, we have to know how we lead our lives, and. Um, I pray that he get that concept. He knows, he, he understands it and uh, order his ways correctly. You know, order his ways correctly. And, uh, there, there are some great stuff that I see around him and I, I hope that he is able to, to fulfill those things. He's, a, he's not a lazy person. He's a hard-working person. Yes, I see him as a hard-working guy. But it's just is that he don't get the luck. He don't get the favor and the grace to get what he really study for. Mm -hmm. He study uh, to become an engineer in mechanic in uh, airline. Airline engineer. And he's not getting that job. Yes, in, in airline. But he's not getting the job what he study for. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it could be very frustrating when you get to that point, it could be very frustrating. Um, well, he is frustrating because he's not getting the job what he asks for, what he studied for. He's doing other jobs, which he, he don't like, again. but he's still doing it. He, born again. he doesn't believe, I don't, I don't know if you believe in Christ. He, he's, not, he's not a church man. My okay. children, they don't want to follow me to go to church. Okay. He will eventually follow you. He will. He will follow you. Thank you. Yeah. He will follow you. And um, I know the day he follow me, he will become a so good, so great, so uh, elevating in his what in everything that he's doing just to follow and yes. is what I want. Just keep praying for him. Um, bear him up in prayer. The prayer of a mother is able to do a lot in the, in the life of a man. Okay. Yes, Papa, can you please pray for marriage for me? Marriage? And death cancellation. Okay. okay. Marriage? Have you been, mar you've been married before? I'm a divorced woman. Many, many oh. years. That's okay. an old story. Okay. Um, I pray that you marry again. You desire to marry again. Yes, Papa. Yeah. I'll pray for you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. As your daughter has desire, as she has committed this unto you, I pray that her eyes will be open. I pray that her better half, oh God, will be located in her life. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will open doors for her. You open a door, the door, the door, the door that will lead her, oh God, to that person that you have destined for her life. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the right connection. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the right connection in the name of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that there shall be a connection that results in this. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I bless your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Is somebody already in your life? Well, there's more than one. I don't know. If, uh, I don't take them serious because they're not serious. <laughs> okay. So, um, they, you are more than one there. Okay. I, I pray that the Lord will open your eyes to see which one it is. Okay. Amen. One, um, after three years, you want to come back. So I don't know. Okay. You like you broke up after three years. It's been three years. And he wants to come back. Yes. Okay. Let's keep praying. God will lead you. Okay. God will lead Amen. you. Okay. It is well. You have a very, very, you have a very, very happy married life. You have a very, very mm -hmm. happy married life. You enjoy your marriage, okay? Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you. you, Jesus. God richly bless Papa, you. Papa, can you please, one, just wanting more for my debt cancellation, please. I receive a paper that I have a lot of money to pay the government. Mm. I'd like you to sow a seed. Okay. So I see. Okay. I'm not going to tell you the amount, whatever the Lord lay on your heart. So that seed. Amen. So that seed before tonight. And uh, you come on the, today is Thursday, Gethsemane hour. So the seed before tonight. I'm going to be Amen. there. Amen. I'm going to be there with the woman of God. We're going to pray for you. So that seed. Amen. Okay. Thank they you, will, Jesus. They will, they will cancel the debt. They will cancel all that. But I want you to sow the seed, release that seed, and the debt will be canceled. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. God bless you, okay? Amen. God bless you too. Have a blessing day. You too. Okay. Anybody watching me right now that do not know Jesus, you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Jesus as my personal, personal savior. My sister, Cece, I was praying with you and your daughter. We got disconnected somehow. Please, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to pray with you again. I didn't finish praying for your daughter. Let me know what is happening. Miss Cece, let me know what is happening. Miss Cece, let me know what is happening. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Anybody watching me, you don't know Jesus. You want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I want to pray for you. You want to receive Jesus as your personal Savior. I want to pray for you. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. If you want to receive Jesus, if you want to receive Jesus, say me and I'll pray for you. If you want to receive Jesus as your personal Savior, say me. Say, I want to receive Jesus. Type, I want to receive Jesus, and I'll pray with you, please. Anyone that want to receive Jesus as your personal Savior, I want to pray with you. Mabel, Jenny B., God bless you, Mabel. Esther, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, Esther, in the name of Jesus. The Lord grant your heart desire in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord's favor will be upon you, Esther. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Anybody that wants to receive Jesus,
Anyone that wants to receive Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior, say, I want to receive Jesus and I'll pray for you. Mage Ayo, I pray for you, Mage. In the name of Jesus, may the grace of God be upon you. May God's favor locate you in the name of Jesus. I pray for a 72-hour turnaround in your life. A testimony, a tangible testimony. I release, may I make Ayo, I release a 72-hour testimony for you. In Jesus' name. Somebody that wants to receive Jesus, say, I want to receive Jesus and I'll pray with you. Father, I thank you, Holy Ghost. Okay, nobody, I'm going to bless water. If there's anybody out there with a bottle of water, I want to bless it for you before I go. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. As I bless this water, as I release your grace upon this water, I pray anybody that is watching me at the sound of my voice, any water represented here, I pray, Lord, I release your grace, your healing power upon these bottles of water. I pray as they drink it, oh God, any form of infirmity, any spirit, oh God, that is tormenting anyone's body in their flesh, I pray in the name of Jesus, may your healing power, oh God, be made manifest. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I release your power, I release your power, Holy Ghost, to fill these bottles, to fill these bottles, to fill these cups, in the name of Jesus, as they drink it, if there is anything that they have contaminated their bodies with through dreams, through eating in the, in the dreams, I pray may it be flushed out of their systems, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank you, Holy Ghost, I bless your name in Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving, amen. Today, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The woman of God will be here praying. The woman of God will be here for Gethsemane hour. You don't want to miss it. 10 p.m. Eastern Time. I will not be on tomorrow, but I'll be on on Friday night. Friday night for Shiloh. 10 p.m. for Shiloh. Friday night for Shiloh. God bless every single one of you. We thank God for your life. If you want to sow, go ahead and sow into this. If you want to sow, go ahead and sow into this. If you want to sow, go ahead and sow into it. God will richly bless you. Thank you very much. God bless every single one of you. Amen. Oh!